The purpose of this video is to discuss all of the properties related to the label object. To find a label object, simply go into your toolbox and scroll down using the arrow on the right hand side. The label object can be added to an experiment at any point by simply dragging it from the toolbox and dropping it into the, your experiment wherever you'd like. The purpose of the label object is just to become a point at which you can jump to or jump back to at any point. To look at the properties of a label object, simply double click on it. And as you can see, the label object is actually pretty sparse. The only thing you can change are the name of the label object, whether or not it has an associated tag, and if there are any notes. Again, the purpose of it is just to be basically a marker that you put in your experiment that you can jump to at any point. So if I were to add an object to my experiment, for example, I'll go ahead and add this text display object. If I look at its duration input tab and specifically these input mask properties, I can actually set the end action of this keyboard input mask from terminate to jump. And then I can then input the name of this label object down here, so we'll call it label one. Inputting the name of this label object here allows me to jump back to this label object whenever participants make a response using the keyboard. I can then expand upon this if I'd like. So whenever participants, for example, press the space bar on this text display object, it then jumps to label one. And if I were to add another keyboard input mask and set this to terminate, if participants press either one or two on the keyboard, it then advances through the experiment and only chooses to jump back to this label one object if they press the space bar. So that's how I would use the label object in conjunction with other objects. This concludes all of the properties of the label object. Thank you very much for watching.